Week 6, problem 7. Consider the circuit, circuit shown below. Let R equal 30 ohms. Alright, so find the current in the 30 ohm resistor. Okay, so what we're going to try and do here is figure out which these are in parallel, which are in series, and reduce this to something we can solve. Um, we are trying to think of, hey, should I use Kirchhoff's voltage law or resistors uh, in parallel series? Always start with parallel and series and then do Kirchhoff's, law, Kirchhoff's voltage law kind of as a last resort. All right, so let's see here. We have a battery up here, comes down to here, and it branches off in, looks like, three directions. So we got it coming down here, going over here, and going over here. So I'm going to say that current kind of goes like this, kind of like this, and then around like this as well, and then up. So this, these two are obviously in series, and so 10 has A and B as endpoints, 5 has A and B as endpoints, and then these two resistors also have A and B as an endpoints. So I'm going to read, so it means since they all have the same uh, beginning and endpoint, that means that they are in parallel. So if I rewrite this like this, it might become a little bit simpler. There we go. These are my terribly drawn resistors. Which is okay because when you're on the test and you're drawing this, you're not you're not getting points for artistic skills. Alright, so this one will be 30. Oh, zoom in. This guy will be 30. This guy will be 5. I think the other one will be 5 and 10. 5 and 10. So we have 5, 10, and then I think this guy was 10. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So now when you when you redraw this way, it becomes more obvious that they're in parallel. So I'm just going to do R equivalent straight off the bat, and I'm going to do parallel. These guys are in um, series. Pretty easy to do that math. 35. Bam. So I'm not even going to redraw them. Redraw that one. So one over R equivalent will be one over 10. Plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 35. All right? And I'm just going to go straight to Wolfram and let Wolfram do this. Um, if I was doing this on a test, I just do straight to my calculator. I don't usually like putting fractions like this in my calculator 1 tenth, 1 fifth, plus 1 35th. But um, then I do 1 divided by quantity to take the reciprocal of it. So it should look like that. Perfect. And I get 70 20 thirds. Okay, that seems reasonable. And then I'm not going to do an equals. I'm going to say that implies that R equivalent equals 70 20 thirds. Okay. And now we need to take into account this other resistor. So we have one resistor, two resistors, and battery. So this guy was 70 20 thirds, and then this guy was 10. So then, finish this guy up, we're going to have, um, we're going to add those together, so it would be 230 plus 70. Ooh, I can't even do that in my head. So, we're going to do this as 230 Plus 70, I'm going to say 303. So 303 20 thirds. Resistor and battery. There we go. Perfect. So now I'm going to find the current through it. So I haven't even really looked at the questions. Find the current. Find the, yeah, okay. Whatever. We're probably going to solve for everything. So V equals IR. Therefore, I equals V over R, which equals, for 
for v we have 25. So we're going to do 25 over 1 divided by 303 over 23, which equals 25 times 23 over 303. So I like to write the fractions like that. That way I can see the reciprocals. 25 times 23 divided by 303. Perfect. Bum, bum, bum. And we get 1.9. Okay, I'm good with that. And we get 1.9 amps. Okay. Okay, find the current through the 30 ohm resistor. Okay, so now we have to find out which of this, we have to divide up the total amps that we have, the 1.9, between these three sections. So I think the easiest way to do this would be to find voltage drops. So I'm going to start by saying that, all right, so here we're going to have zero volts. This here we're going to have 25 volts, all right? So for this guy right here, we're going to have V equals IR. where the resistance is 10. So, G equals 1.9 amps times 10, which equals 19 volts. So, zero with a voltage rise of 19 volts, delta V equals 19, gives us 19 over here. Now your first thought is, wow, we only had 25 volts to work with and we gave almost all of them to one resistor. Coincidentally, the first one we picked. Well, let's see if that makes sense. So it's pretty much the same size as all the other resistors, but all the other resistors are more or less in parallel. <coughs> so the um, the voltage is going the current is going to be split between all these. The voltage drop is going to be mitigated because it has so many different paths for the current to go. So but all the current has to go through this one 10 ohm resistor. So it makes sense that it's also going to have the biggest voltage drop. It's going to have the most, um, uh, not resistance, but I guess voltage drop is the actual term. So this is at 19 volts, okay? So we're still looking for the, okay, so then we're going to have to back it up. Let's see. Okay. So if we look at it here, we have 19 volts here. So we can find the voltage drop across these guys. I'm going to erase some of these lines just to clean up this. You guys can go away. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to find... Oh, okay. I'm going to find current through all of these for through I'm going to find the current through this guy and this guy and then subtract that from its total current and I'll get whatever current left over has to go through these two. So delta V for this guy is I times R. No. I know that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for current. Nope. So I equals V divided by R which in this case, 25 minus 19 is 6 divided by 10. So that's going to be 0.6. This is 0.6 amps. Bam. You should probably be a little bit cleaner when you um, do it on your paper. All right. So this is, we're going to do the same thing here, except now the resistance is halved. So it should be double the... Um, current. So this will be 6 divided by 5. 6 divided by 5, yeah, I'll say it's 1.2. Equals 1.2 amps. Okay, okay. So 1.2 plus 1.6 is 1.8. Okay, so we have 1.8 1 1, 1 amps accounted for. We have 1.9 to work with. 
so 1.9 minus 1.8 is 0.1. So I have 0.1 amps going through this section. All right. So in a more formal fashion, what I did was I did Kirchhoff's uh, current law. So we have current coming through this sec section right here. We have current going out this section here, current going out this section here, current going out this section here. So I'm going to call this I1, this will be I2, this will be I3, this will be I4. All right, so we know that all the currents coming in, which is I1, because that's the only one coming in, equals I2 plus I3 plus I4. All right, so we knew this guy was 1.9, because that's all the current we had. We know that 2 was 0.6. We know that 3 was 1.2, and that leaves us with I4. So when we subtract these guys from the other side, we get 0 0.1 equals I4. Bam. Seem reasonable? Okay. Sounds good. All right. So was that actually answering a question of ours? It did. Find the current. 0 0.1 amps. Find the potential difference between points A and B. Oh. Well, we already did that, so I'm just going to write the answer down. 6 volts. So when I read, uh, ask me to answer a question that I've already figured out, then chances are I didn't do the problem the way they wanted me to, which is okay. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, the way that you feel most comfortable for is probably the best um, way to do it. Um, these kind of problems, they're not, you have time to do them, as long as you don't keep making mistakes. You don't want to get to the end and be like, oh, I made a math error, and have to redo the whole problem. You can do it in a reasonably inefficient manner as long as um, you get the right answer. So as long as you keep moving forward, you'll get this. You'll get these kind of problems done in time. You'll probably be given one of these problems um, for your test. Um, Understand Ohm's law, under, understand Kirchhoff's current law, and know how to reduce by a series and parallel coolant resistors. And you should be good to go. All right? Perfect. That's it for problem seven. On to problem eight.